What's going on with the Kern River? Well, you're about to find out. This episode is brought to you by Kern River Fly Shop, the most reliable and accurate fishing report for the Southern Sierra and Kern River Valley area. Now here's your host, Guy Jeans. Hey you guys, welcome. Hey, air temperatures in Kernville are 69 degrees. We have a low of 48 degrees. We have a 34% chance of rain tomorrow on Friday. Um, but next week we're back into the 80s and flows as you guys can see have come up. We're at 2400 CFS on the upper Kern and we're at 1100 on the lower Kern. South Fork of the Kern is about 1000 CFS. Here's the uh, water temperature on the lower Kern which is roughly about 55 degrees. And um, you know quite frankly you guys uh, fishing on the upper Kern is going to be tough. I'm not saying you can't catch fish but since the flows are up it's going to be a little bit tough, um, especially with the off color. So, typically in May and in June, you know the flows come up from the snow melt, um, especially when the weather starts turning into the 90 degree and 100 degree mark. It starts melting off pretty quickly. Um, so it just depends on how hot it gets and how fast the, the snow melts off. Um, but you can still fish it, but you just got to be careful. You definitely don't want to be wading out there right now. Um, and you're going to, of course, see a lot of uh, rafters in the 20 mile section. So just an FYI, um, definitely come up and fish this area. Yeah, the flats of Lake Isabella. You know, such a great place to explore. Uh, we've been exploring and, and developing this fishery for carp for over 20 years now. Um, these are the flats. You know, this will be filled up here shortly. And um, it's already starting to fill up, as you guys can see. Um, if you've never fly fished for carp, you got to try it. Um, like I said before, we do guide for carp and we do guide for other uh, warm water species in Isabella. Um, but in the spring, the, these flats fill up and the carp will move in by the thousands into these flats and it's a lot of fun. You can catch some really big fish on a fly rod using flies like the Carpalicious, um, the carp worm. Um, they like crayfish style patterns and they will eat other flies on the surface. Other things that you can do is that you can fish these trees, um, get your flotation device, go out there and fish these trees. It's a hoot um, and you can catch uh, largemouth bass on a fly rod as well. And it's, um, it's a lot of fun. If you've never done that on a fly rod or if you have, you guys know how it is. It's just a hoot. And when the water starts coming up in Isabella, these coves that you can find all around the lake hold um, crappie and bass and uh, it's a lot of a lot of fun um, again you know get your float tube out there in these trees fish around the trees um, strip some streamers like your game changers woolly buggers anything that imitates like a bait fish or a crayfish and uh, you can have a lot of fun it does get windy on Isabella so finding these back coves like I've, I'm doing right here um, you can get a little bit of protection I'm using top water flies like frog patterns um, even mice type patterns. Mice patterns work really good in Isabella because the bass there they love to eat mice especially when the, the flows start filling up Lake Isabella. Um, great place to explore. You can have a really great time. Um, notice this stripping that uh, I'm doing right here you know a strip strip pause super important to get their attention they love that little strip that little pull and then that little pause and that gives their attention and uh, you can pick them up again in these small little coves all along the shoreline of Isabella great alternative so there you guys have it remember um, go to kernriverflyshop.com we do guide on Isabella which we are doing quite a bit of and we also are going to be doing the small creeks Guiding up in the small creeks for uh, native uh, Kern River rainbows and brown trout, uh, wild brown trout, and little Kern golden trout and golden trout. So, gonna be doing these every week, you guys. See you next week.